Right, so yeah, the waywards. Sorry, complete brain fart there. The wayward wants us. To, uh, the, the mission wants us to go straight to the wayward. So, so we're, I'm just going to unmark that for now. We'll, we'll come back to that once I've got a bit of levels. Like, and then I'll just breeze through the early game quest. It'd be grand. I want to see what's going on with this key. This mysterious key that. Oh, nope, third person. No one wants that. It's to the north. Find out what the key unlocks. So to get to north, uh, we're right here now. We just follow the roads, follow the highway 59, and then follow the 94. So we're basically just taking every left turn that we can till we get to past egomania JD13's camp, and we'll find out what's in the woods. All right. We got a plan. I'm gonna have a big drink of water because I'm thirsty. Excuse me, one second. I need to build a camp. get filled in? No? Okay. There we go. Duchess let you try one of her drams yet? Word of advice. I know I said we we're not going into the wayward, but I kind of want to see what these are. Oh, okay. By medical supplies and uh, ammunition. Cool, that's just one that. Where should I build my camp? Just here? Where the road meets the highway? I wonder if that's a nice little spot. You're a bandit. You're a bandit. Oh dear. Oh dear. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? It's over there. That whiffed shot. Oh, we got one in sight. One left. Anyone else? So much for being friendly, guys. Fucking hell. Let's see what we can loot. Ooh. Laser rifle. I'm going to guess it won't let me use it because of levels, but... Yeah. That'd be nice when we get to level 5. Save some uh, energy rounds. Cooking on gas. impact to uh, recover some of that health. Yeah, these, okay, these were bad dudes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. 
maybe I don't want to build my house just there across from this raider base but we're only a base camp base is a bit ambitious what can I cook all right get some grab stag bacon okay. and I go buy steak Where's that gunfire coming from? Could have swore there was a fourth dude. Is that wrong? So maybe not build our base right right here next door to those guys. What well, they're dead, but I assume given fallout they will respond. Ooh. Take some giant tasty mushrooms. What harm could that do? A bus. <laughs> A jar full of farts. Um Slogan Joe's kind of Fallout's version of Duncan. Duncan Donuts. Now that people have come back to this area, they'll all want to be setting up places like Foundation. Foundation? Oh, those Mothman cultists give me the creeps. They're all just crazy. Do you mind not pointing that gun at me, mate? Rude. See, see this part of me. So many signs for the wayward. Part of me is just like, no, I don't want to do it. Your signposting, Bethesda, is too literal. Justin's no. Okay, so, so it finally happened. What the government and the news kept saying. A giant war and bombs and missiles and stuff. And lots of people panicking, trying to get into Vault 76. It was pretty crazy out there for a while. And I got separated from everyone. My friends, my family, but it's alright. I'll find them again someday. And I know Christian and the others can handle themselves. So for now, it's time to go exploring. West Virginia may be a little wilder than it used to be, but nobody can handle those country roads like me. Justin Cole. Where are you? Take a trail beat, I'm not gonna wear it because I'm not a nerd, but what is that noise? Weapons, right, so again I'm not using pipe pistols unless we're in a very bad pinch. I'll keep the wrench on that one. Some kind of roof. Looks like it might rain later. Makes it harder to see. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just uh, having a look around. Dirty little bugger. 
Any more? Any more of you? No? Okay. Keep an eye out for anywhere flat that we can build a little base, I guess. Do we want a base? Oh. Toast boy. A lighthouse? What's a build on here, but it's not exactly flat, is it? jump me. Press that you manage to tunnel through concrete, but alright. We've got a perk, a level, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna go with strength for this one because I like to carry things. Weight of all chems. I'll take that. junction here responders emergency signal Wow, you, you've got a look. Well, your dialogue didn't work, but it was nice oh, to meet you, dude. I heard someone creeping around. Well, now you speak. This seems like a nice flat area. Okay, now what? Aha, and that's how you get into the... Okay. Don't, don't give me the stuff I can't build, because I don't have the money. There we go, we've got ourselves our first little house. Right on the highway here. Not a bad little spot. Punk, you look after my house. 
Is there anything else we can build? Doors? That door doesn't fit. That's a fancy Fallout Plus door. There we go. And because it's Batista, you have to quit the thing to open the door. Crafting. A bit of fire here. Okay. Look, I'm getting, I'm getting distracted building. All right, we'll come back to this place. <laughs> All right. Follow the yellow brick road. Up 59. Take the junction when it splits off to go there. Along the road, past the house. Then a right. Okay. We can do this. Okay, so it's a distress signal from Grafton? I'm gonna stop stepping in the punji sticks, but loot! Clot on my screen, so we'll get rid of that for now. Workshop. What are the enemies? Robots? I reckon we can deal with robots. Oh, we can deal with robots. This is the point where a sentry bot comes out and just absolutely annihilates me. This is a big bloody junkyard. Alright. Oh, 
that. That worked. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up the gross tick stuff. Okay. Where's the workshop? Distracted by all of the, the things that are lootable in here, so go to the workshop, see what we've got. Does this make mine this like a settlement for me? I'm not sure how it works. You had a bad day, bud. Probably sell rad roach meat. A ranger hat. I'll take the ranger hat over the hard hat. There we go. Starting to look pretty fly. Okay, so I get a bunch of stuff for doing that. Okay, that works. That's worth it. Let's see what's in the house and then we'll move on. Glue! Again, if it's like Fallout 4, then glue is worth its literal weight in gold. Nice little recipe. Desk fans, bourbon, anything in the fridge, cranberry moonshine, dog food. Missed you, little wee stimpack. Okay. Not much in this house, then. Alright. Hot dogs. How long have they been here? Oh. And a beer. Where were we? Heading north to investigate this safe key. Alright. Trader. 
If the scorched or the ferals don't get you, the rats will. Hey, care to deal? What we got to trade? Pipe wrench, lead pipe. You can take the hard hat. Definitely take that trailberry. <sighs> Some weird things out there I've had the mispleasure to run away from. Ribeye steak is free. Let's just have a quick look at the prices, see what sells the most. Grilled rad slack is free. You look tired. Cranberry moonshine. Wanna tonight. sell anything that's been weighing you down? And you can have my psycho tats. That's good. Cheers, love. Just about time to I hope this isn't your stuff because I am rubbing it. Defend. No, we can't keep defend it. Someone wants that, they can they can have it. North, I've got an objective. Oh, you. Oh. Sorry, sorry, dog. Sorry, dog. Bad dog. Bad. Take your meat though. Where'd the other one go? Did he blow himself up? What an idiot. A gunfight? Starting to get into a lively part of the map, it seems. Whoa! Here was me thinking you were frozen like the other ones. Hey there, bud. Okay, they can shoot back. I thought they were ghouls. Wow. Ooh, baby. You guys were lit up. Okay, I can't use that, but I can sell it. Can't use the combat shotgun. Mm, level 50, though. Uh, that's worth keeping. Level 5, level 5, level 5, 1, 1, 1. Uh, so, what, a player dumped stuff here, I'm guessing? Appreciate it, dude. Level 50 shotgun, Jesus. Take a fuse. Take some first aid. That oil can. Yep. Take that. Lovely stuff. Going upstairs. Oh, oil can. Blood pipe and ammo. And woo. Oh, level ten. 
What a shame. We'll scrap a bunch of stuff though. Alright, so that one's level 5, that is 45. And 50. That's level 10. I'll keep that because that's a nice long barreled hunting rifle. Um, Alright, so we got a bunch of crap. So we've got level and tiny sliver to level 5 and I can start using that pump shot. Sure, eh? I'm good with that. seems to end. Now that the world has gone to shit, the rich gonna be poor, and the poor gonna be rich. Come on, give us something nice. Ooh, almost. See, it's normally worth checking buses. You get nice little... Oh. Don't really pick up the empty bottle, but whatever. Oh, you really need to clean up around here. Yeah, you do. Is this where you live? Damn bitch. I don't like the look of that radar logo, so I'm going to steer clear of whatever the hell that is for now. Just keep following the road. How, how far are we? Ah, oh, okay. Shit, this is the time. Oh. Uh, going to a new region. Let's open our first pack. It's like opening Pokemon cards back in the day. Dromedary. And we'll go with Action Boy and Perception one as well. Okay. So we've got 40% chance of finding extra meat from corpses. Action points regenerate 50% faster. Weight of all chems and drinks. Uh, less radiation and does more for me. Okay, cool, 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 cool. On delay. We'd start using some more metal like the Raiders. Cool. Oh, okay. That was a lot of wood. Oh, is that a live bug? Not anymore. Okay. There's another 
to play a bin this way? Because there is. Dead bodies. That I didn't make dead. What time is it? Almost two in the morning. Another one, them punks. Yeah, you, ah. you, you can't see my codes. Uh, you wouldn't understand. The radio network is growing every day, but I'm no use to them where I am now. All I want to do is get out of this place, get my radio set up somewhere. Um, you should have your radio because... at my place. All right. Offered you, dude. Rude. Boat. There can be another one. Oh, double the meat. Double the pleasure. Jump me like that. damage for that, but okay. I'll take it. Once again, back to the rifle. Rifle for long. It's a medium, even though it's a sawn off one. I quite like the design of the sawn off guns in this game. I mean, I imagine they would be a nightmare to use, but... Oh. That's a Zambi. Oh. don't care about the, the junkyard video game. There we are, get rid of that. If we come back this way, I'll poke my head in. But right now I want to see what's up that way. Also, this is 2 o'clock at night, it's very light. Dude. Yeah, not the radio network is growing every day. But all I want to do is get out of this. Huh? Why are you still standing here? I just need to get out on my own one of these. All I want to do is get I know you want to set up your radio. What? Okay, so I need basically any of those. But I don't. So... I assume you're just going to keep reappearing until I can pick you. Stop following me. My poor Lucy. She was my best friend. I'm really gonna miss my Lucy. Stupid mole rat! I'm really gonna miss my Lucy. Stupid Someone mole rat! Someone should probably be looking after you out here, but it ain't gonna be me. Hmm? Okay, some more ghouls. Oh. 
One down. Two down. Good. Anyone else? Is that a spatula? And what looks like two Photoshop fish? Cigarettes, we'll always say yes. Some free money. What do you mean this money's no good? Well, this place got messed up. Around. Take all of that goodness. No, can't do you any more lockpick. Ooh. Big chest full of stuff. Can I scrap my items here? Yeah, boy. That takes us down to 148 out of 70, so we're starting to get close to the weight limit. Rat poison. Valley we go. So we got that like that. Turn and then down him for the rest of the way. Some like explosion y noises. Switchback, is that the term for these kind of... Whoa! Mother! Okay, that seems to... Be all right then. This is... No one wants to be friends in this world, Jesus! Is that the 
zombies. Bunch of settlers. A bunch of bloody things. You guys that jumped me down by the river earlier? Sniper rifle, eh? Yeah, I bet you can pick them off before they even know you're there. I, I mean, I'm not a bad shot, but clean up this, fix that. Up is hard work. We need to uh, destroy some of this stuff. No, I don't. Because if I eat some, excuse me. Grove Radstag. There we go. Uh -oh. Back to business. And that gives a fair bit of health as well. Lovely jubbly. I assume you guys came from that farm. First player. Hello. If you want me to take the armor, dude, I'm 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 too low level. But but I'm confused. Your horse is confused. We should be at the jump. Back. Whoa.
Time to run. I'm not fucking with a level 77 guy. Let's put some distance between me and him, shall we? Oh, okay. We've got an icon on the radar. It looks like a vault door. We go into vault 51. Jumping through the woods now. Why, why is the battle music playing? I got no I got no beast for you moth man. Especially since you're like 14 le 15, 16 levels above me. We we chill. We chill. We chill. We chill. There's moth men. Past. Okay. Ah uh -huh. So it was Vault Fifty One. Can we go in? Ooh, light bulb, just please. No. Okay. Your new home shelters. Uh, team around the interior, private area that is unique to your character. Only you and your teammates can be in this interior. Friends and strangers can join you. Blah, blah, blah. Welcome to the shelter's claim center. Claim your shelter now to expand your home. Oh, that's what we needed. Scrapping station. Scrap the guns that aren't being used. Pipe pistol, pipe pistol, pipe pistol. A level five laser pistol, all right. Forty. Definitely worth picking up this gas master. Playing football against no one. That's sad. That's sad, bro. Visitor. Oh, I thought this day would never come. I haven't had a visitor in ages. Welcome to the Appalachian Shelters Claim Center, visitor. I'm called Mr. Clark. It's my job to help eager new customers such as yourself take your first step into the miraculous world of shelters. Oh, cursory analysis suggests you are likely here to... Goodness, 
Forgive my tone. I'm experiencing some memory issues. <clears throat> As I was saying, a bright-eyed visitor like yourself must be here to claim your free shelter today. Is that right? Um, I have a few questions first. Naturally. Not to worry, visitor. I'm equipped to answer most basic questions from my customers. How can I help you today? What are shelters? Shelters are expansions for your home. Each shelter is a unique interior that comes ready to be built in and decorated by its owner. What are you doing I was here? programmed to distribute shelters from this claim center, and I intend to do just that. I've been waiting for a customer like yourself for ages. The apocalypse did put a bit of a damper on my sales projections, but with your arrival, it seems my troubles are over. You said you're experiencing memory issues? Yes, unfortunately so. My network was recently used to... <coughs> ah, it seems I can't exactly remember what caused it. <laughs> But rest assured, candidate visitor, memory issues notwithstanding, I'm eager to help usher you into the world of shelters. Do you know anything about Vault 51 outside? That's Vault 51. I don't know much about it, I'm afraid. The vault was sealed along with the others in Appalachia. But only one person ever emerged. His name was Mr. Gill. He lived here for a while, observing Vault 51. Something inside interested him. I believe he was investigating... I'm sorry. Most of my memories regarding Vault 51 are corrupted. I think Mr. Gill kept notes on the Claim Center terminal, if you'd like to know more. Other people have been here? A few, over the years. Two of the scientists who were working on the Shelters Project before the war used this claim center to hide from the bombs. They left, in search of greener pastures once the blasts were over, and I never saw them again. The claim center was empty for a long time after that. Uh, Mr. Gill is the only other person who's ever been inside, aside from yourself, of course. <sighs> ah, such a shame. So much good marketing gone to waste. I think I've learned everything I need to know about the vault. Then on to more pleasant business, visitor. Are you interested in registering as a shelter owner and claiming your free shelter today? Yeah, sure. Splendid! Oh, before I can distribute your shelter to you, you'll need to register as a shelter owner. The terminal in the back will guide you through it. Once you've finished registering, return to me and I'll distribute your free shelter to you. I'm so grateful to have a customer. I was beginning to think this day would never come. Oh, you won't let me pick up the Vault 51, Sue. So. What's in here? Bobby pins. Passwords. Terminal. Helen. Skiing turpentine. Someone's having a good night. I'm so grateful to have a customer. I was beginning to think this day would never come. Alright, let's see what's on the Appalachian Shelters Claim Center Terminal. Shelters Information Hub. 
Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay, so basic information, shelters are expansions for your camp that come ready to be customised. They are the perfect sanctuary for industrious architects and those who want a little peace and quiet from the dangers of Appalachia. Whether you're interested in building gravity-defying structures with our relaxed workshop restrictions, decorating your new home with the finest furniture Appalachia has to offer, or rigging up maniacal mazes full of traps to stave off home invaders, shelters are something for you. Uh, building in shelters will feel a bit different to building in Appalachia in order to give our customers total control over the shelters we've chosen to alter some workshop restrictions you can take advantage of relaxed shopping and relaxed snapping and support restrictions to build mind-bending structures or discard gravity altogether and place items in mid-air for those seeking a more traditional building experience snapping rules can be enabled at any time in the workshop. Please note that some categories like food, water, allies and resources are currently unavailable in shelters. When you first register as a shelter owner you'll receive your first shelter entrance. It can be placed in the camp and used to access your new home. Each shelter you own comes with an entrance. You can place multiple entrances to any of your shelters. Shelter entrances can be placed in your Appalachian camp or inside of the other shelters to create a daisy chain effect. You can lock your shelter entrances for privacy. Sorry, just what the hell is that noise? Or you can leave them unlocked for visitors. Please note that locked shelter entrances can be picked. Uh, your shelter's claim center accepts no responsibility for the theft of personal belongings. So select new shelters. We at the Shelters Claim Centre understand your desire to entertain your new home. Shelters have no maximum occupancy limit. Invite as many friends and neighbours as you like to pop in for a visit. They can even stop by while you're out for a stroll in Appalachia. So long as you have a shelter entrance in your camp, visitors can enter it and explore. Shelters fully support team building so you can collaborate with your teammates to construct the underground hideaway of your dreams. You can engage in combat with other dwellers whilst inside a shelter. If you attack someone inside a shelter and then return to Appalachia, you will retain your hostile status. The reverse is also true. If you attack someone in Appalachia and then retreat into a shelter, your hostile status will remain. In the unlikely event that you are killed inside a shelter, your belongings will be returned to you. The shelter's claim center accepts no responsibility for uh, damages to property or personal injuries while incurred inside a shelter. Find your friends. We believe that teamwork is the key to success in Appalachia. We've made it easy to locate your teammates. Shelters so you'll always know where to find them. Simply open your map and if your teammates have unlocked shelter entrances in their camp, they will be visible to you. If you wish to join a teammate in their shelter, you'll need to travel to their camp first, then access the shelter via the entrance. We're sorry to see you go, but if you have business to attend to in Appalachia, you can use your shelter's built-in exit to return to the surface. If you get stuck inside your shelter or another dwellers, you can always exit using your map. Travel expenses incurred will be identical to the amount you'd pay to travel from the camp you started in to your intended destination in Appalachia. Excuse me, big burps. So that's how shelters work. They're essentially a camp inside your camp. All right. I'll register. And we've got some communication logs. So, sales pitch, RE sales pitch. And this was sent on the 11th of October. Now that the system's functional, we need you to iron out our sales pitch. Marketing likes shelters, the home of the future. We're having posters made to advertise. Make sure Harold's bot learns the phrase too, since he'll be interacting with customers. A couple of the guys from management will be making the trek out here to see the claim centre soon. Just hang tight for now and make sure the bot's keeping the place clean. Talk soon, Sawyer. And then there was uh, another message on the 26th of October. So, three days after the war. Is anyone out there? Anyone left on the network? This is Jameson at the Appalachian Claim Center. Something crazy happened here. Some kind of attack. I can't get in touch with my family or any of the office landlines. Please tell me someone out there to get this. Me and another engineer are down here with our claim center as bot. We're going to stay inside as long as we can. At least until the phones are up and running again. Hopefully this will all blow over soon. 
The next message would be from the 13th of November 2077. Our bot says the network still operational but it's been radio silent since last month. Appalachia's toast. We haven't seen any signs of life in weeks. I'm not sure how much longer we can hang on there. We tried to find a way into Vault 51 but it's locked up tight. Even its communications network is inaccessible from outside. I still haven't heard from my family. At this point I guess it's pretty obvious why not. If anyone is out there I hope you've had better luck. Jameson. And then a message from the 1st of December 2027. We can't stay here, it's getting bitterly cold and we've been having bad luck finding food. This will be the last message on the Claim Center network. If you see this, come find us. Our names are Jameson Grillo and Aaron Brady. We're going to follow the Potomac South, hopefully towards a warmer climate. I feel bad about leaving Mr. Clark, but he refuses to desert his post. Hope the poor guy won't turn into rust waiting for customers who aren't coming. See you out there, Jameson. And the next message would have been test one, the 10th, 30th of October 2102. Can you hear me in there? Network unreachable. Vault 51 internal network is unreachable. You do not have appropriate clearance to reach this network. Test 2. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? And that was sent on the 7th of December 2102 and then we have network interference detected. The Vault 51 internal network is unavailable. You do not have appropriate clearance to reach this network. Analyzing unfamiliar network activity success analysis complete. I have detected human activity on this network. Greeting new overseer candidate. Please proceed to Vault 51 to begin the overseer selection process. Okay. And last thing we've got is Ruben's notes. Log entry one. Well, here I am. It's only been... I've only been out of that damn vault a week and I've already come back at its front door. If it gives me the creeps knowing it's right there, but if I'm going to get back in, it'll pay off to have a base this close. I thought this was some sort of vault tech control center for watching us in 51. Joke's on me, I guess. It's some sort of dumb real estate project with the world's most annoying marketing bot running it. Just my luck to get stuck with another stupid robot. Now that this terminal's working again, I guess I'm out of excuses to put off trying to reach the 51 network. Here goes nothing. Turns out 51's network protected with a crazy firewall that I can't get past. I guess that's probably to be expected. Still, I think going through the network is my best shot at get back in. I know from experience that there's no way out through the walls. All I can do is keep trying. I think the marketing bot might be helpful. Maybe I can use its internal network to contact 51. I've got to get this done quick, then move the hell on. I'm having trouble sleeping knowing that 51's right outside. It makes me think too much. Log entry 3. I sat outside and watched Vault 51 for a long time today. Hours, I guess. Time doesn't mean much these days. It looks surprisingly peaceful from out here. Almost beautiful. All of my hacking attempts have been unsuccessful so far. The 51 network's locked up tight. It makes me wonder if any of the messages we sent from inside ever actually made it out. I've finally gathered enough supplies that I can start doing real work on the terminal. Mr. Clark got up all up in arms about me tampering with a confidential network but he can't stop me I just want to end this log entry 4 well it worked I got into the 51 network a few days ago I wish I felt relieved but the message I got back made me nervous it wasn't all automated I haven't slept since and finally log entry 5 Mr. Clark has been complaining of memory issues since I got that message from the 51 network. His speech patterns keep changing too, but I thought it was just his hardware starting to go, but then he called me Mr. Candidate instead of Mr. Gill. I feel like Zax is in here with me. It's like 51 all over again. Maybe this whole thing was a mistake. I need a damn drink. The houses near me are picked clean, but maybe I can find something in one of the towns. I need more building supplies anyway. I could use a couple of turrets in here or something, just in case. It's an excuse to get out of 51 Shadow, if nothing else. That's the last log, so... 
from what I can piece together, Ruben escaped 51. Some shit went down inside and he died trying to get supplies. It looks like you've successfully registered as a shelter owner. Congratulations, visitor. A marvelous new world of home expansion awaits. I'll distribute your free shelter to you, along with some materials to build your shelter's entrance. As a personal thank you for being my customer. Before we part ways, visitor, is there anything else I can help you with? Free shelter. What's its deal? Certainly. Your free shelter is a complimentary expansion for your home, modeled after the very claim center we're standing in. It comes equipped with workshop functionality, so you can get started building and decorating right away. Simply place the shelter entrance you claim today in your camp and prepare to enter a bright new world of home expansion and customization. Okay. Not an then allow me to extend a warm Shelters Claim Center farewell to you, along with my thanks for being my first customer. Enjoy your new home, visitor. Given what Gil mentioned though, probably for the best. No, right. I think I'm going to call it there. We've had a good run so far. We've uh, got to level 4. We've investigated what happened with Ruben Gill and found Vault 51 that we can't get in, sadly. Um... Well, no, we'll leave it there. Next time we will head back down towards the Wayward. And we might even start the initial uh, story quest. But I hope you enjoyed the beginning of Fallout 76. It's not too bad at the moment. I'm kind of enjoying this. So until next time, um, enjoy yourselves and stay sexy.